¿En qué consiste la nueva era en la dinámica demográfica en América Latina y qué retos conlleva? Yeah, so uh, what we're looking at in the document uh, is a definition of this new demographic era in three principal characteristics. Uh, the first being that uh, there's a great convergence in the demographic behaviors of the different countries in the region. Uh, so whereas uh, maybe a generation or two generations ago, we talk about Latin America in terms of the great diversity in life expectancy or diversity in fertility, Uh, between countries in the region and increasingly that's less true. There's a great convergence in these demographic behaviors amongst the countries. So that's one characteristic of this new era. A second is that uh, we're moving now towards stabilization of populations and so uh, populations in the region are going to stop growing uh, during this century both within Latin America and our region and as well as Asia uh, and in many other uh, countries throughout the world. So that's a second great Uh, characteristic of the new era. And the third big one we want to uh, give emphasis to is the change in the age structure of the population. So this uh, great aging of the population, uh, movement from societies in which uh, the youth were the largest age group in the population to uh, a new kind of social structure in which the elderly, those uh, 60 or 65 and older, Uh, form the largest demographic group. And uh, these changes uh, bring with them a lot of challenges. Uh, uh, challenges not just to, um, for example, governments in terms of funding pensions and funding health care, but really to all uh, institutions functioning in society. So it's not uh, just challenges for governments, uh, there's uh, challenges for uh, markets, financial markets, labor markets, Uh, and challenges um, for uh, families as well. And so we want to focus on uh, the challenges in a very broad way, uh, looking at the challenges to all of society rather than focusing narrowly on um, government, government sustainability of programs. And uh, I think I want to mention finally uh, what we, the issues we present in the document uh, is the idea that uh, we're really facing a dual challenge uh, in the region. One is population aging, and the other is confronting uh, these persistent uh, and high levels of inequality that have so long uh, characterized the region. And so population aging, through the uh, pressures it's putting on uh, us to reform uh, tax systems, healthcare systems, and education systems, provides us with an opportunity to use those reforms to fix these problems of inequality in the region. Uh, and so that's what the document is all about. ¿Podría darnos un mensaje por los 50 años del CEDUA? Ah, yeah, so I want to congratulate you all on uh, completing 50 years. We at Celadi have also uh, celebrated a while back our 50th Uh, anniversary, and I just want to acknowledge the uh, long-standing um, collaborative, collaborative efforts uh, between the two institutions, and I'm sure it's going to continue for the decades to come.